I love bagels, but they're not a complete meal at all. It's just straight carbs, no fat, no protein. I eat a bagel five minutes later, I want five more bagels. Wouldn't it be nice if bagels were high protein and more satiating? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna meal prep mini protein bagels that you can have for breakfast throughout the week. Get yourself a food scale and place a bowl on it. We're gonna start with the easy part of this recipe first. We need 45 grams of all-purpose flour, just regular flour. If you have self-rising flour, you can use that. That would be great. Since I'm not using self-rising flour, I need these bagels to rise and get fluffy, so I'm gonna use some baking powder, half a teaspoon. I also want a pinch of salt because a salty bagel is really important. Salt will bring out all the flavors. And then the last thing, coconut flour. It is different than regular flour, so you cannot just sub all the regular flour for coconut flour. You only need eight grams. Please excuse me for the red eyes, I have allergies. I'll play a clip of what was happening a few minutes before I started filming today. What is wrong with my eyes? These California allergies are killing me. I grew up in New Jersey, lived there my whole life, used to have spring allergies as a kid. Then I got too strong, my immune system just said no. In high school, spring allergies went away and in the last like seven, eight years, I haven't taken any allergy medication. Then I get to California like nine months ago. And guess what? I didn't know different places, different trees have different kinds of pollen. The allergies here are killing me. Look at my eyes. I missed. <clears throat> Let's talk about the difference between coconut flour and regular flour. They're around the same amount of calories per gram. So 30 grams of regular flour or a quarter cup is around the same amount of calories as 30 grams or a quarter cup of coconut flour. The macros are completely different though. Coconut flour has more protein and more fiber in it. Another huge difference is absorbency. You need to use way, way, way less coconut flour to get the same amount of absorbency as regular flour. Coconut flour absorbs way more liquid and way more moisture in the baked good, which sounds really good. Lower calorie, absorbs more. You could sell coconut flour for regular flour and save a ton of calories and get the same dough texture. Wrong, wrong. Coconut flour bakes completely different. Regular flour is chewy. You know that chewy denseness that pizza and bagels have that we all love? It's because there's gluten in regular flour. That gluten gives that chewiness. That is fantastic. And if you only use coconut flour, you wouldn't get that because there's no gluten in this. It's dry, it's crumbly. So instead of getting a chewy bagel, you would get a dry crumbly hockey puck and you don't want that. You want the calorie savings, the fiber, the protein that coconut flour has without sacrificing that chewy dense texture of the bagel, which is why we use mostly regular flour and then a little bit of coconut flour, best of both worlds. Now that the dry ingredients are in here, give everything a mix, get all the powders incorporated completely. If you like garlicky bagels, feel free to add a little bit of garlic powder into this. Now let's get into the hardest part of this recipe. I'm praying for myself. The reason this is different from my last bagel recipe is because this is gonna be higher protein. We're gonna use egg whites. The last one was a dough recipe. This is gonna be more like a batter recipe that's gonna turn into a bagel when we bake or air fry it. The hardest thing in the kitchen for me is cracking eggs and separating egg whites. Please, safe. Oh, okay, well, that's step one. The yolk didn't crack. I have a very hungry garbage disposal that wants to eat the yolk. By the way, if you're cracking multiple eggs, crack one at a time and separate and then take the egg white and put it in a separate bowl. That way, if one yolk breaks, everything doesn't go to waste. Now take all your egg whites, add it to your dry ingredients and mix. That looks, <laughs> I don't know, it just looks weird. But if you keep mixing, 100 grams of Greek yogurt, it's gonna add even more protein in addition to the egg whites. The batter is gonna look all goopy like this. Keep in mind, I said this is not a dough like my last protein bagel recipe. This is a batter. You can't form this into a bagel, but you can use this. I'm gonna use this, a silicone donut baking mold to bake these bagels. These are absolutely fantastic. I cannot say enough about them. They heat up in your oven or air fryer. They clean up so easily. You just pop them in your dishwasher and then they're clean. Nothing ever sticks to them. I hate when things stick to things. And the best part about these, They even have a nipple. Just try not to get any on the nipple. Just go around it, be careful, take your time, and get it all off of the nipple. Come on, get down there, get down there. You can add everything but the bagel seasoning if you want now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I've been procrastinating getting an air fryer. I don't know why. Ever since I moved to California, I was like, I can do everything in an oven. I don't need, I don't even have extra counter space, but I don't need an air fryer. Yeah, I was at Costco a few weeks ago, saw an air fryer, looked at it, impulse buy. I want that. An air fryer is just too good. It makes your life so much easier. It's so much better than using an oven. And this one's ginormous. 350 degrees for seven minutes. Preheat, then put in the bagels. Explain this to me. 
why is this not in all caps or all lowercase? Why is there a combo? Why is the R lowercase and why is the T lowercase? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Maybe I'm missing something because I have a big head, but maybe not much in there. Someone explain this to me, please. Oil spray because I want the tops extra crispy. Air fryer is preheated up. All right. I do have a big air fryer, but the silicone pan is huge. So it's all good. We're only making four bagels, which is perfect. Seven minutes. And when they first come out of the air fryer, they look disformed, I know. But the bottoms are soggy, the tops are crispy. So you gotta flip all of them over and they flip over so easily because these don't stick. Silicone, the magic. Olive oil. And this goes back in the air fryer. We gotta get the other side golden brown. Four more minutes. Perfect, they're done. It's 286 calories and 23 grams of protein for all four bagels. A single bagel is 72 calories and six grams of protein. So if you want a light breakfast, you can just take one or two bagels, use a peanut butter, some cream cheese, and you're good to go. PB2, not peanut butter, you know what I mean. Remember, when you cut things that you need to use the sawing motion for, you got to use the serrated knife. If you don't, you're just going to smash it and it's all going to squish. So things like tomatoes, bagels, bread, serrated knife. And look at how fluffy that is on the inside. Do you see those holes? So fluffy. It's perfect. If you want to toast the inside, just pop this in your air fryer for two more minutes and the inside will toast beautifully. Best jam, raspberry or strawberry, but this one got that tanginess. Take a half, little jam. Check out my cookbook. I have over a hundred recipes in there and I'm constantly updating with new recipes. When you buy it once, you get all future updates for free. A lot of the recipes in there I used as I was losing hundred pounds. It's great for losing weight. It's great for building muscle. It's great for staying healthy and just enjoying cooking and eating in a healthier, better way. Tons of low calorie, high protein recipes in there. Sweet recipes, meal prep recipes, savory recipes. Check out the book. The nooks and crannies in this bagel make it everything. And it's so chewy, pulls apart perfectly. Thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and let me know if you have allergies, spring allergies, cause it is absolutely horrible. I'm sorry. I'll see you in the next video. This is what the bagels look like when you air fry them again. They get real nice and toasty. Those nooks and crannies get golden brown. It's awesome. It gets super crispy. Want to see my failed experiment to make these bagels? This is what happens when you use a lot of egg whites and not Greek yogurt. I was trying to really get the protein up. Oh God, it's bad. Look at this.